the U.S. government might honestly have to ban them Popeye's chicken sandwiches from the hood. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so, yeah. So, unfortunately, people are getting stabbed to death for chicken sandwiches. Okay, let me explain this real quick. And before we go actually all the way into the story, I'm going to explain why I have yet to eat one of these damn chicken sandwiches from Popeyes. Is they got drugs in them? I don't know. You got to tell me. The way that these individuals are absolutely going bananas over a chicken sandwich from a fast food restaurant makes zero sense to me. Okay, so apparently, um, also, this story that I'm reading, I'm going to read some of this from you, uh, for you, and it's from CNN. It was written by Madeleine Holcomb. And the, the title of the story is Man Stabbed to Death After Argument Over Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. It was published on uh, November 5th. That's the date. So um, it, it goes on to say, A man was stabbed to death Monday at a, at a Maryland's Popeye's after what appears to have been an argument over the restaurant's re-release chicken sandwich, police said. The victim, a 28-year-old man, was stabbed outside the restaurant around 7 p.m., Prince George's County Police spokesman Jennifer Dolan said at a news conference Monday he had been in line for a chicken sandwich when he and another man got into an argument which spilled into the street. Dolan said police believe the argument began over cutting over someone cutting in line. Now there's a couple of problems I have with this. The first problem is this. Homie, you wanted a sandwich so bad you cut in line. And the other problem I have is this. Homie, that dude needed a sandwich so bad, he cut in line. So obviously, at one point, one of these adults think to themselves, is this really worth fighting over? The problem is, that's not what's being thought. People are having so much bottled hate up. And I'm going to blame a lot of this on the internet. I'm going to explain. The internet is cathartic. You can go on the internet and you could live out your deepest fantasies. Individuals that like to hate people can go onto the internet and they can go find some people to hate, click up with a community. You know, they got hate, they got evil in their heart. They can find someone to, to dish out punishment to. They've been abused all their life. They need some way to get this off of their chest so they feel better about themselves. You know, bullying tactics. Now, the reason why I say I blame some of this on the internet is the absence of some people having to do things like go to work prevents them from looking down at their phone and going over the internet, which now is more of a drug than it is an actual appliance. I don't want to say appliance. It's a physical thing or an actual escape. Well, that's that's kind of what drugs do. So, yeah, the Internet is a drug and the Internet is causing for people when they have a lack of the Internet to do stupid things. OK, so now I'm going to break this down to you. There's very little chance that I will ever show up to anywhere, jump a line and then want to fight the person that I got in front of. There's very little chance that that's going to happen. There's very little chance that I'm going to get online. And somebody's going to jump in front of me and then I'm going to go outside to fight them. I'm going to explain to you why that person is more stupid than the individual that cut the line. They cut the line, right? Yo, let's go take this outside. Not a problem. I'm going to meet you there. 
I'm going to get whatever the hell it is I'm standing on live for, and then I'm going to go about my damn business. I'm not meeting you outside to fight over my line spot. What kind of shit is that? Now, if you swing on me right then and there at the spot, then, you know, whatever's going to happen is, you know, going to happen. But if you're trying to tell me this is how we're going to settle whose who spot this is online, we're both going to get off of the line to go outside and throw in. Nah, we're not doing that. I'll meet you outside, homie. Don't worry. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh. Somebody lost their life. This is really serious. But at the end of the day, we got to be better than this. That's a whole fact. It goes on to say, the victim, a 28-year-old man, was stabbed outside the restaurant at 7 p.m. right after work. Prince George's County Police spokesman, Jennifer Dolan, said at a news conference, he had been online for a chicken sandwich. When he and another man got into an argument, which spilled onto the street, Dolan said. Police believe the argument began over cutting in line. For you to get that angry over anything and develop this type of violence, again, is a very sad and tragic day. Once again, I don't think it was an over the line thing. It has more to deal with the fact that when we're cultivating negative energy all day, i.e. surfing the internet to troll people, that is going to slip into your regular everyday life sooner or later. Officers who arrived at the scene applied life-saving life -saving measures until the man was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police are still looking for the suspect. Dolan asked the suspect and people who were in the restaurant at the time to reach out to detectives. We are looking for a male, and that male knows who he is. Obviously, he did the killing. The male knows who he is. He knows what he did here tonight and he needs to do the right thing he needs to step up and turn himself in okay so i have a couple of problems you're trying to tell me that this popeyes had no cameras you're trying to tell me that none of the people there gave a description are y'all trying to catch this guy or is this all games because at this point if you're trying to tell me that you didn't get a description of the assailant and you're also telling me that there's no video camera evidence that y'all could use in order to find this guy i have to question uh, both of these parties white or, or both of these parties black or is one of these parties black and the other one white it's up to you i'm not trying to make this about race or color but please whoever was the individual that got killed he deserves justice whoever was the individual that killed somebody over a line a spot in the in the line we need that dude off the street asap there's no positivity that he could be doing out there in the community if he's stabbing people over a line for a damn chicken sandwich. These sandwiches are dangerous. I'm tired of hearing about, uh, not for nothing, both people are most likely black, and that's not me making a joke. That's just me saying what it is. Every time I look at one of these damn videos and I see somebody going bananas inside of a, a, inside of a damn... Popeyes, it seems to always be black people. Why in the hell do we have to prove that we can't get along without chicken? I have no idea. Whoever know anything about this guy, please come forward. We need to get this guy off of the street ASAP. ASAP. There's no way in the world that we should have somebody out there roaming the streets that's stabbing people over a line, a space in line, to go buy a damn sandwich. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.